What's up, everybody? It's your favorite fans, toys, missing links, favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Rising Force Dead End, or as they call him, Catfish. I hope it's Catfish. This is all known to me from Kyle F. Shout out to that dude. I actually forgot about this, so I'm happy that he hit me up about it. So I'm going to take a look at it, but in order to do so, you need to look at accessories. Which is just this pistol. Sculpted nicely enough and actually has some paint on it. I believe the gray, it's a red, uh, it's a burgundy piece of plastic cut off the same sprue from the majority of the car and then the gray is painted on, which is nice. You can peg that into the top of the vehicle and he'll hold that just fine. And let's talk about the car mode. So it rolls. We have silver headlights painted on. We have uh, headlights here as well and turn signals painted on. Uh, the black windows are painted on. The tires have silver paint applied to them, or the wheels rather, and uh, no brake lights or anything. That's a little unfortunate. Um, and the sunroof isn't painted either, but I think that's to make it look the way it is and no yellow stripe down it. You know, that's arguable whether you, um, you know, how you want it to look. I always like the yellow stripe, but neither here nor there. Then you have a little peekaboo underneath and some paint details for the... Uh, for the uh, robot that we'll talk about when we get there. Uh, I don't know if there's a whole lot left to talk about. I haven't seen if, uh, if uh, I haven't messed with the transformation of this guy yet, but I wonder if, no, I don't think the, the door's open, but I thought maybe it was worth a shot. But what is worth a shot is taking a look at it next to Tiger Tracks. So let's transform this guy. I'm gonna try to do it in one take. Uh, we'll see how it goes separate the lower body from the upper body you can spin that 180 at the same time i believe open up the hood sit that on the back take the arms rotate them down and you got to get this hand out which is a little tricky so oh god it's like all lubricated i hate when they do this so nasty and i had the wrong hand on here <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right same on the other side <clears throat> and flip this hand out that is the right hand so kyle unfortunately you have two right hands buddy uh i hate to tell you I hate to be the bearer of bad news or two left hands i don't know mother from right that's even more bad news lower body time split the legs and this piece needs to come untabbed. Maybe I can get it better on this side. And swing inward. And then rotate at the knee so that this piece comes down and around. And we want to fold the wheel. Oh, no, no. We got to get the foot out. There it is. And then fold the wheel in. And then take this piece and flip it back around. And make sure that it lines up with the tab on this side, which will keep your knee straight. There. So, same thing. Flip this piece out. Flip the knee around. Get the foot out and tuck the wheel in. Close this bit back around it and bring the feet to an appropriate level. Collapse the waist, fold in your flank pieces and that's this guy. I'll clean him up, we'll take a look at him. We'll get in tight on the head skull for Dennis. It's okay. I feel like the visor, or not the visor, the mouth plate sits down too far. Like the mouth plate should be up here. Like proportionately, I think it's a bit off. The visor is painted purple. The face is painted gold. That's done nice enough. The head itself is on a ball peg. You do get nice up, a little bit down, left, right. Uh, that's about it. The shoulders are on ball pegs. Everything is pretty much on ball pegs. Loose, loose ball pegs. Let me back out just to taste. But they also hinge inside the chest, so using both, you can get it past 90 degrees. It's a wobbly mess, though. Um, 
and yeah that's about it there you get the 360 around obviously um you have an elbow that is on a single hinge and it gets you a little bit past 90 degrees you also get your bicep swivel there once again kind of a wobbly floppy joint and then your wrist is on a ball peg so it gets a swivel in an out motion um hopefully yours comes with the right ones all right and then we have the chest lots of nice painted detail on the chest so the chest plate is painted white and then the black gray and silver accents are all painted on nicely done waist swivel and that's really it then we have as you can see we'll back out for the whole figure now pins universals brush them for hips and you get out for the full van dam a little weird tolerance there forward and back for the full monty i think it feels like these two joints are almost connected like i can't move one without moving the other but that doesn't make any sense so i don't know i don't want to break this guy's figure uh so i'm not sure there it should be enough range to get you what you need to be fair thigh swivel plastic looks a little chewed and gnarled up to be honest knee is on a single hinge to get you 90 degrees and then we have an ankle tilt down slight ankle tilt up and a rocker so i mean it has the base level of um articulation and stuff it's just it feels very novice and i mean i know this is their first go at it but it's like it just doesn't have the kind of build quality in my opinion to really compete in the modern space um, which is unfortunate but let's go ahead and take a look at some size comparisons size comparison wise there he is with the magic square prime and the new age megatron so he's a little taller i feel like than most of the legends i'll know for sure here in a minute but i think that's appropriate uh the, the sonicons were a little bit taller than most people remember and they were a little bit taller than the car bots etc etc so that actually might be a blessing there he is with iron factory tarn as well as new age outback and for the sake of tradition, there he is with the old school Iron Factory scale blaster, as well as a Hasbro Stunicon. And I have one more thing to show you. And there it is with the Magic Square dead end. And like, it's just, that's what I mean by I'm just not sure it can compete in the space. It is a bit taller, which I thought it might be. There are things I like about it better. Uh, very little, but like the chest, I like the paint on the chest better. Oddly enough, I like the materials better. But like the build of the Magic Square, the kind of nuance of the Magic Square, the intricacy and elegancy of the Magic Square, just it shows what a professional looks like versus somebody who's new to it, you know, let alone having two of the right hands. So um, it's a rough, it's a rough piece to contend in in the current legends market which has really gotten fairly sophisticated final thoughts wise let's start with the negatives and unfortunately there are quite a few the biggest negative really comes down to build quality let alone the two left hands but loose joints at the right shoulder and elbow and bicep the fact that the tension in the hips is so tight that it causes pull from one to the other add on top of that you got l visibly lubricated joints plastic that looks like it was in a rough condition to begin with on the thighs gaps in the forearms and i don't particularly like the sculpt of the face if i wanted to nitpick i could say they probably could have done something a bit more clever with the hood but ultimately i don't think it's that big of a deal specifically for the size positives wise it does have a few things going for it the materials feel nice enough i love the paint on the chest the paint on the face is done nicely as well the accents on the car are done nicely the car mode in particular looks pretty good the transformation's easy fun straightforward few little weird spots where you got to get things out and it's not particularly user friendly but it's not an experience ending set of circumstances and the articulation is kind of baked in fairly well but unfortunately i just can't recommend this i just think there's better options out there i want this company i wish this company the best and I, I hope they get the experience to become a competitor but right now i'm just not sure they are and i hate to say it thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care